Nothing's ever simple. Is there something happening downstairs? Uh, I'm not sure what all the commotion right. is. Ten seconds to take a breather. How would things be different with a normal family? Sorry, I'd better keep an eye on this. Come have it all right here in Atlantic City. Hey, you got a great voice, lady. Wish I could stay awake to hear it. Excuse me? Just who do you think you're speaking to? Oh, shut it, Connie. You're always starting crap. I got the right to say what I mean. Your fancy jazz is putting me to sleep. <laughs> really? No, I don't know what indignities you and this country thrift store are forced to survive out here. Hey, I scavenged these threads from Charleston Landfill, fair and square. You're living in a bubble, lady. The wasteland ain't no place for some schnazzy pre-war nightclub. Get out of my club! Get out! Out! Oh, she's Louise. You don't have to tell me twice. By the way, your singing sucks anyway. Oh, the nerve! Oh, well, that was embarrassing. Welcome to the Rose Room. Anything to drink? Welcome to the... I apologize on behalf of my mother. We'll have enough trouble getting people in here without her immediately scaring them away. To be honest, this is more turnout than I expected. Which is welcome, of course. I mean, I just hope the rest of them are friendly. <clears throat> Anything to drink? That would be... a beer. Because stock was on me, just behind the other hundred things on my to-do list that nobody else is doing. Sorry, it's not your job to hear me complain. It's your job to relax, have a drink, and enjoy the music. So, what can I help you with? There's another question for my dear mother. We just moved here from the coast, Atlantic City, which, believe it or not, is doing pretty well compared to, um... You know, everywhere else. Over there, Mom was an entertainer. That's what she does, what she knows. I don't think she's woken up to the reality of what the rest of the world is like out here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really could. My mom thought we weren't going to have any trouble tonight, but... The crowd I've seen so far... I have my doubts. Big ones. If you feel inclined, um, could you keep an eye out? Maybe, if it's necessary, handle a fight? But keep a low profile about it so Mom doesn't freak out. I'd really appreciate it. Really? You mean it? Go ahead and join the audience. If nothing happens, then, um, you can enjoy the show just like everyone else. I hope that's the case, but, you know, better safe than sorry. And thank you. I do really appreciate the help. You need something, too? Hello, 
Hello, folks. Rowdy looking bunch out there. Well, as I say, there's no better cure for a long day than some snazzy tunes. Sit back and enjoy. I can't listen to this baloney no more. Let's light this place up. God damn it! Everyone, stop! You see me give the goddamn signal? Vincenzo, why is my audience dead? Why don't you ask this guy before he croaks? I mean, really? <coughs> what does on my signal mean to you? What's your pleasure? Does it mean whatever the hell you want? Didn't turn out well for them. <coughs> <laughs> what about me, huh? Condemned to death by the stupidity of others. It was simple. Wait for all the Russos to be in the room together. Shoot on my signal. Couldn't follow either one. Almost makes me happy to be put out of my freaking misery. <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whoever it was, they're wasting their time sending you all this way. Hey, I told them the same thing, lady. Starting to think they wanted to get rid of me, too. Vincenzo, what did you do? What? Really? You of all people are gonna point your finger at me? <laughs> Guess every one of you nutsos has a reason to be afraid of payback from Atlantic City. Sleep tight, Russos. I may not be the last to come for you. Just nonsense is all it is. We can't let them scare us. We don't know who they are to begin with. Oh, don't act like you're above all this. For all we know, someone at City Hall has it out for you. I can't even begin to tell you how little you know about me and City... Shit, Abby, are you okay? Get away. Get away from me. Oh, they know. I thought I covered my tracks. They're gonna come back. They're gonna... What are you talking about? She's got the shakes. Could be she's danced with the devil. You're my own mom. Don't talk to me like... <sighs> Crap. I think you're right. Those who fancy themselves part of the Atlantic City High Life have access to a special intoxicant. They drink the devil's blood. I should have paid more attention. Must be the stress of the move got to her. You say that now? All of this was your idea. We're so busy dealing with your problems, there's no room for anyone else. Is that really how you feel, Vincenzo? Yes, it is 100% absolutely how I feel. After everything I've done for us, everything I've sacrificed! Unbelievable. Crap. I think I went too far. Sorry about all this. I was right to expect trouble. Just not... this much what of was it. That? I really appreciate that. Just... Please go talk to my mother for me. It was a bad time to set her off. Right now, we just need to figure out how to help Abby. Must have must have left something. Thank you. I know Better you'll screw up. It was a bad time to open my mouth. It's just hard to keep it in all the time. Must have must have left something. Where did I screw up? Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna come for me. Opening night is a failure. I offer drinks, games, music, more excitement and luxury than this whole dreary mountain range has ever seen. And what do I get? An audience full of hitmen, a strung out daughter, and an unappreciative son. Just ridiculous. Nothing makes sense anymore. Of course he does. And I'd like one thing in the last 20 years of my life to count as a success. Is that so much to ask for? Where did I screw up? Oh, fine. I'll come downstairs and help. The extra moment of peace isn't worth delaying the inevitable. But it's not like I'll be able to do anything anyway. You think I'm not concerned? Let me ask you something. What do you do to de-stress? Read a comic? Listen to the radio? It's the apocalypse. Maybe you go out and blow some heads off. Whatever it is, it's a distraction. A tool to stay sane under me. pressure. So don't you dare judge me for keeping my head above water. Much better to complain than to have an emotional breakdown. Oh. And just what are you implying? You don't know anything about me! I did what was necessary to survive in a cutthroat industry full of insane people. If they've come after me for that, let them. Once a paradise, now a madhouse. Everyone lost their sanity after the bombs. The showmen are the worst of all. Avoid them at all costs. They're masochists who get off on risking their own lives in front of others. Once upon a time, people could appreciate simple talent. Now, everyone's so depressed about the end of the world that the only way they can feel something is by pumping their adrenaline up to 11. The showmen make a living by capitalizing on that desire. Do me one favor me. first. Go upstairs and let my husband Antonio know what's happening. He may not understand, but he should at least be told. Well, uh, pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the Russo's Haven. How, how, how do you like the festivities? Blood of the devil? Now, that doesn't sound like something anybody should be drinking. My daughter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She's a great kid. A uh, fast learner. Resilient and stubborn. <laughs> she, what, well, does, does she need something? My daughter. Oh, um, my daughter. Oh, you know, I I still remember catching little Abby with a pack of candy pilfered from the convenience store. <laughs> so clever, yeah. and so stubborn. <laughs> I I never thought that that she would um uh, um were, were were we talking about somebody? Hitman? What hitman? Have you been watching too much television?
going already, but you, you just said hello. I must have messed up something. <laughs> Where did I screw up? You're back. Thanks for that. Look, I've done some thinking. Devil's blood is highly addictive, and withdrawal is dangerous. It could even be fatal. We're hundreds of miles away from anyone who knows what to do about this. Doctors here are only going to know about regular chems. The doctor's not good enough anyway. We need the blood. This isn't like any other chem. When you dance with the devil, you either keep dancing or you get burnt to a crisp. Oh. Oh, my darling girl. Say, you don't happen to be on good terms with the refuge, do you? Well then, uh... How much of a people person are you? I need to ask you something crazy. Because you don't really know us, and, and really, from what you've seen so far, have no reason to trust us. But my sister is in trouble, so I'm going to ask. Could you fly to Atlantic City and bring back a dose of Devil's Blood? Uh, you make the second part of that sound like a simple ask. I did say it was crazy. But please, and I really mean it. It'd be a bad idea for any of us to go back there right now. If newcomers like us could even negotiate a flight in the first place. It's an exclusive camp, typically only accessible to high society and to the people that source it. Must the mob. Have You'll have to find one of them. Did I screw up? See what you can negotiate. Remember the firefight earlier? Whoever sent those people still has it out for us. <laughs> for one of us, in any case. Undetermined. We could that? fight about it all day. You're not joking, right? Oh, you can pull this off. We, Abby, need you to. Please, just let us know as soon as possible if anything goes wrong. I'll do whatever I can for her in the meantime. Oh, <laughs> 